Uh, my name is Casey McCall-Smith and I'm a lecturer in Public International Law here at Edinburgh Law School. My work generally focuses on the law of treaties and how states implement those treaties. The past few years I've been looking in particular at how states implement their international human rights obligations under the UN treaties. Um, since 2016 I've been working and looking specifically at the United States and its rendition, detention and interrogation programs um, in relation to the post 9-11 so-called war on terror. Um, I've spent a few um, years going back and forth to Guantanamo to observe the military commissions there because this very much speaks to the way in which um, the United States views uh, the rule of law at the international level and how that trickles down to domestic implementation. The military commissions are fraught with all types of international legal questions, not the least of which is about torture, but also other um, rights that uh, defendants are entitled to, such as the right uh, to a fair trial, the right to be presumed innocent, and all these things stem from international obligations. They are also reflected and very much entrenched in domestic law. And so what I've been really looking at is why um, in Guantanamo and in the military commission setting, this seems to not necessarily be the case and the U.S. seems to be less inclined to um, uphold the rule of law in terms of uh, prosecuting uh, alleged terrorism.